Okay, everyone. Now we're going to learn about the body parts of a caterpillar. In your booklet, you have these pages. And on each one, I have a picture of a beautiful caterpillar. And then I have a word. So there should be, let me see, one, two, three, four. Let's see. Oops, this one's upside down. Five, six, seven, eight. So what I would like you to do with this is have someone help you or you can do it yourself and just pull it or rip it out so you have the two pages separate, all right? Because we are going to cut them and color them and then make them into a booklet. But before we do that, you can rip them out and then set it aside. I want to explain to you the parts of a caterpillar so they make a little bit more sense. And I'm going to use my three-part cards. I'm going to start here with the word caterpillar. Now, a caterpillar is a type of insect. They are the larval stage of a butterfly. So remember, they hatch out of a little egg. And then they hatch out and they don't look like a butterfly at first. They look like a little tiny caterpillar and they're called larva. And what they do then is they have to continue to eat and eat and grow. And then that's when they form into a chrysalis or a cocoon, depending on if they're a caterpillar or a moth. So right now we're going to learn about the body parts of the caterpillar. So here you see only the head is colored green and here's the word head the first section of the caterpillar is the head it includes six eyes we only have two eyes caterpillars have six eyes they have their mouth and the small antenna and the spinnerets which come out to help make the chrysalis or the cocoon Okay, now after the head, they have the part of a body, just like other insects, called the thorax. So see here, the head is not green. Only the thorax is green. And the thorax is the second section of the caterpillar's body. Thorax. It consists of three segments, and it has three pairs of true legs. So see these little legs here there's six total three on one side and three on the other side just like other insects and these legs have almost like little hooks or little claws that help them crawl when they crawl up things and it helps them stick so so far we have caterpillar head thorax the next body part is the abdomen this is the third section of the body. It has 10 segments. And see, now the head isn't green anymore and the thorax isn't green. But this last part, let's see if there's 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 sections for the abdomen. And on the abdomen, there are prolegs. They call them prolegs. So they're not the real legs but they do help them stick. See those? Those are their pro legs and spiracles. Now, do you see these tiny little dots? I even have a card that only shows that the little dots are green. Those are called spiracles. The spiracles are kind of like their breathing holes. Okay. So on our cards, we have caterpillar head, thorax, abdomen, spiracles. The next part, oh, here is a picture of the legs. I guess that should have gone after the thorax, right? Because the legs are on the thorax and the pro legs are on the abdomen. So here, check it out. I'm sorry, let me see if I can make this make more sense. The caterpillar, the head, the thorax, that has the legs and then hmm 
the abdomen, which has the spiracles and the prolegs. Okay, so I'm going to take those away. Caterpillar, head, abdomen, thorax, legs, spiracles, and prolegs. And we're going to look at the paper that I gave you. So if you look here, and maybe you can have someone help find it for you, or you can use your eyes and look for the first one, which is the caterpillar. So the first one here. It's not the first picture of the caterpillar. It's actually the second. And I know it says caterpillar because I see the c cat. Ooh, the word cat is in caterpillar. Caterpillar. So I'm going to take a marker and I'm going, maybe I'll do green. And I'm going to trace over the word caterpillar. Cat. I'm going all the way down. Er, pill. Remember to start at the top and go down. Top. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. So I'm going to color the entire caterpillar so I know that this is the whole caterpillar. Now you know what? I'm going to show you because I've actually already done it. So you might want to pause and continue your drawing. I want to show you right here. I already drew the entire caterpillar, even the legs. Caterpillar. Although I don't have this be green. So you continue to color your caterpillar. It doesn't have to be green. It can be any color you want. You know my favorite color is green. Caterpillar. The next one I'm going to have you do, yep, it's right below, is the head. Start at the top. Huh. Head. Head. And you're only coloring in the head. That's it. Nothing else. That's it. Okay. We have heads too, don't we? Now, the next one we're going to go to, since it's on the same page, unless you've cut it, we're going to go, I guess a little out of order. We'll do the legs. Now, when you move over here to do the legs, Make sure you're only coloring in those three legs that you can see. And we know that there are three other legs on the other side because insects have six legs, right? So we're only coloring in these. Those are the legs. And the legs live on the thorax. So the next one is the thorax. So don't color in the head and only color the thorax. And don't color the legs. So what you're doing is you're creating your own booklet to show the body parts. On the next page, we have, well, we're going to work with the pro legs first. So the pro legs now are these kind of chubby looking legs right here. They're like, they're not pointy like the real true legs. They're more just like little spheres or not spheres, but like cylinders. And you're going to write the word pro legs. And underneath pro legs, let's color in the whole abdomen and write the word abdomen. And the ones I'm missing are the next ones are the spiracles. Beer, a, coals. So the spiracles are all those tiny little holes you see. They expand and contract them, and they're kind of like how you have nostrils on your nose. These are like little holes on their bodies that help them breathe. Spiracles. And then... 
I noticed I gave you a blank one. And the blank one, you can do with it what you want. Hold on, I have to fix my computer. You can color it any color you want. Or you can just leave it blank. And then what you can do at home, I don't have scissors up here right now, but you can cut them out and make them into a little book, like a little booklet. If you have scissors at home or a stapler, okay? You can staple it this way, or you can even cut them again and make them into a smaller flip book. Maybe you can take a picture and show me what that looks like, all right? Now, while you're finishing that, maybe you want to pause it. I am going to show you some really beautiful pictures that I have that are real. They're not drawings. These are real. These are pictures of eggs on a leaf, just like in our story, The Hungry, Hungry Caterpillar. Look at all those eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 eggs. Out of those eggs, pop! Little baby caterpillars. I wonder what kind these are going to be. See, they popped out of their eggs, and a lot of caterpillars eat the egg after they pop out of it. It's very nutritious. And then this caterpillar is growing and growing. And you know, they have short antenna in the front. It's very camouflaged to look like the leaf it's on. And they also have false antenna on the back. So maybe if a bird were to come to try to eat it, they would eat the wrong end and not their head. Well, this caterpillar is growing and growing. And it is ready now to form a chrysalis. So I'm going to show you this chrysalis hanging on a leaf. Look at that. It's like a hard shell. Remember on its mouth parts, it has the spinnerets to form. And it's going to stay there for about two weeks. Here's another picture as it's transforming and changing. It's called metamorphosis inside. Looks like something's already coming out. <gasps> Whoa, nature is so amazing. Do you see it starting to emerge out? It doesn't look like that caterpillar anymore. Let's see, I have one more picture. Oh, it's all the way out. See, it's hanging. It still has its antenna and its six legs. Look at that. That is a beautiful butterfly. It changed into a butterfly. And now its wings are drying and spreading open. And I don't know what you think. To me, I guess if you look at a certain way, it almost looks like the, the head of a snake. If I were a bird, I would not want to eat this because I would think it was a snake head and it would eat me. So I would stay away. And now the full grown butterfly. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that eye. That came from that. Isn't that incredible? And last thing, just to reinforce this, are some more pictures of caterpillars coming out of the eggs and hatching. And I'm going to read you this tomorrow. Okay? So I'm saving this for tomorrow. So what I want you to do is to really think about the body parts, the pro legs, the spiracles where they breathe, the true legs in the front, the thorax, that's where all the legs are attached, and the abdomen, we all have abdomens, and the head, and the caterpillar. And I want you to work on that booklet Okay, um, work on your booklet, and I'm going to see what's next. After that is this beautiful butterfly. So you can color in this butterfly if you want. Maybe you could cut it out and hang it in the window for neighbors to see when they walk by. 
And this is just another beautiful picture. And this is actually showing a moth and a butterfly. Maybe you can research the difference between the moth and the butterfly. Okay. And tomorrow, not today, tomorrow you're going to work on the life cycle of a butterfly. So I have pictures for you to do there that are in the wrong order. And I have another way for you to do it here. And I actually gave you two. I don't know why. Just for fun. Or maybe you can make your sister or brother or mom or dad or grandma or grandpa do it too. Okay. So your job today is just the caterpillar buck and coloring in the beautiful butterfly. All right. So I'm going to close up my packet and I keep it all together on a clipboard so I know what we so I know where we're at. And what I will do is clip this to it so I know to show you this tomorrow and I don't forget. Okay? And I guess maybe I can move this up here for a second. Hi. <laughs> Um, it's a little early for, for some of the, for a lot of the, but you know, we used to hatch painted lady butterflies and my, and Jana, my mother-in-law, she actually has the right kind of plants for monarch butterflies to come and even swallowtails. And I've had those in my yard too, but it's still a little early for that. But if you go looking under leaves and looking in your garden, maybe you can find little eggs. Maybe you can find little caterpillars. I have so, so many cool things. So I'm going to show you this tomorrow and some more life cycle things. Um, I hope everything's going well for you guys and work hard and help out at home. I'm going to be working in this room up here to try to make it look better and I will see you guys soon. All right, take care. Bye.